and a surprising new study out of Harvard today that could change the way we think about dieting. When it comes to counting calories, what kind we take in may matter as much as how many we take in. ABC's Amy Roback explains why. The study tried to answer why so few of us are able to lose weight and keep it off. The answer? It's not enough to count calories. It matters what kinds of food those calories come from. The notion that a calorie is a calorie has been dogma for many, many years. But it's also an argument that the food industry loves because they can market the 100 calorie pack of junk food. The study compared three basic diets with the same number of calories but in different forms. A low-fat diet, a low-carb, high-protein diet like Atkins, and what's called a low glycemic diet, which includes normal amounts of protein, fat, and carbs, but avoids processed carbohydrates like white rice, white bread, and sugar. The results? Researchers found that the low glycemic diet actually speeds up our metabolism and helps us burn calories. So what's a low glycemic diet and how do you shop for it? Instead of buying this apple juice, buy an apple. And instead of getting white bread, go ahead and look for the stone ground whole wheat kind where you can actually see the kernel. And instead of instant oatmeal, get the slow cooking old fashioned kind. The quality of the calories that we eat can affect the number of the calories that we burn off. And that difference could be equal to an hour of physical activity without even lifting a finger. Not a magic bullet in losing weight, but some help with the struggle. Amy Robach, ABC News, New York.